I'm here to show you guys a project that I did using electroluminescent wire. And it's a little bright in here to see it actually working, um, but I can show you all the parts, I can show you how I put it together, and I can show you some pictures of what it looks like in the dark. And I think I'll do that first, because otherwise, you know, what's the point? So I'm going to walk around a little bit. I've got uh, some good pictures up here. So this is the dress I made. As you can see in the dark, you can see the flames glowing. Um, these are long exposures, so you can see a, kind of a trail that it makes when uh, whoever's wearing it is walking around. Um, there's some other shots over here uh, where it's still. So in these is what it looks like when someone's standing still. You can see the flames are uh, just you know a little bit brighter just by themselves. Um, I'll walk around. I want to show the other table as well. So I want to give you guys all a chance to see this. So here's a couple pictures of it. Standing still. A uh, picture of it hanging up over here. And got pictures of it in motion. Um, the cool thing about this dress and the cool thing about this technique that I'm sharing with you guys today is that this type of wire tends to have a very, um, very, very bright kind of eye-burning effect. This electroluminescent wire is very bright and very concentrated. It's a very tiny, thin strip. Um, so it tends to, uh, unlike neon, for example, it tends to look very, very bright uh, when you look at it straight on. So this technique is combining a few different types of fabric as well as a certain uh, pattern for the shape of the dress that makes it look a little bit more organic when you're walking around. Let's it move a little bit. Um, it lets the uh, flames kind of flicker a little bit as you walk around. And um, also, it's also designed to just be comfortable, you know, for the wearer, because this wire can be very stiff. And sometimes when, uh, you know, if you do something really elaborate and crazy with it, you'll end up with something that you can, you know, wear while you're standing still, but then when you want to get up and dance, you, you know, find it, you can't. So uh, this is a, you know, good technique that allows the wire some motion as well as, um, you know, giving it a little bit of that soft, organic look like you would find uh, in uh, looking at fire or something like that. Um, I have a couple of other pictures here. Uh, I've also done with some with, like, cloud shapes and things like that. Um, and I'll probably show you guys some of the details of this as well as we walk around um, and as I, you know, continue to talk about it. Uh, first, I want to show you guys the materials that I'm using for it. Uh, as you can see, the dress is uh, an A-line skirt, and uh, the cool thing about this shape of the skirt is that it kind of bunches up a little bit, and it's good because then the fire is going to look a little bit different shape as you're walking around. Uh, as you're walking, the flames kind of come nearer and farther away, um, and then also this overlayer is translucent, so the glow will show through it as you're walking around. Um, and it ends up giving it this really nice organic look. Uh, to get this uh, to work, uh, basically you're going to want to work with specific types of fabric. So here are the, some of the materials. The underneath layer should be something that's shiny and a little bit more substantial. So this is a satin fabric, and you can see it's a little bit shiny, um, it's a little bit thicker fabric. For the outer layer, you want something thin um, and something translucent. So here I've got this chiffon, and as you can see, um, even when it's just by itself, it gets sort of a variety of different colors uh, when it flips over and under itself. So it's a really good fabric for that outer layer, and it gives the dress, um, you know, again, just some variance in color. Uh, now to put it together, um, I start out just by, you know, creating the dress shape, and um, today I just have the fabric. Um, so, you know, you start out by making something that you want, uh, like a dress. And uh, from there, we're going to be working with this wire. So this is electroluminescent wire. And uh, you can see what it looks like. It looks kind of almost like a gummy bracelet or something like that. I'll walk around with this, too, for a second. So this I ordered online. There's a company called Cool Neon that sells it. There's other places that sell it, but it's called Electroluminescent Wire, EL Wire. And it looks kind of like, you know, gummy bracelets that were really popular in the 80s. and.